Hi guys, you're welcome back again to my YouTube channel. My name is Ria. Ria, Ria, Ria. <laughs> and I am a lifestyle and immigration content creator living in Dublin, Ireland. If this is your first time, thank you so much for tuning in to see my chubby face. And if you're a returning subscriber, what's up G? How are you doing? So in today's video, as you guys can already see from the title of the video, we're going to be talking about the highest paying part-time jobs in Ireland as an international student. I get a couple of questions from people saying, oh, um, can I work and also pay my rent and also pay my bills and also take care of myself? And maybe someone also pay my fees at the same time. What are those high paying jobs that I would need to be able to do all of that? Um, and I'm here today to give you like a couple, not a couple, but like a few of those jobs that, you know, I have kind of done my research on. And I think that if you kind of get any of these jobs I'm going to be listing out for you, um, you would be able to, I don't know about paying your fees, but I know about, you know, paying your rent, paying your bills, and also falling and taking care of yourself. So if this is the kind of video that you would want to know about coming here as an international student and you are allowed to only work 20 hours per week, but you need those high paying jobs to be able to meet up. So all you need the money for then definitely this video is for you and you should definitely definitely stick around so in no particular order actually the first job on my list would be security jobs yes so according to my research security jobs are one of those very high paying jobs that we actually do have in ireland not just dublin i think in like a good number of counties that you know um offer those roles but the thing with these security jobs if you want to be paid i think about 14 euro 15 euro per hour you would need to have this security license sense you will need to take an exam for it according to what i heard but what i heard i heard that the exams are not really difficult per se uh but that license is very very important to be able to you know upgrade your pay and now the thing the downside to this is that this license and the exam could cost from let's say about 90 euros to about 300 euros and then that depends on what level of security exam you're taking and whatnot but for my research if you can ace this exam which is quite easy and you can have this license and you want to work as a security um, either like in a school or in a hospital or in a company and an organization in a store i mean they do pay well working as a security from what i've heard and from my research so if you're coming here as an international student security jobs and if you don't mind doing them really those are the kind of jobs that you should probably look out for to be able to get this money yeah the second job which is very very popular i think a lot of people know this one would be healthcare assistants i don't want to call names of companies that really do pay high uh, but if you do your research you will know um but for those high ranking or high paying companies as a healthcare assistant so healthcare assistants are more or less like carers or like people that do take care of the elderly people not just elderly people people that, that actually do need help and um, one way or another and these healthcare assistants right not just with private companies they're also nursing homes where you could also do this there are also hospitals as well that are looking for healthcare assistance i think even the uk now is such a big thing and even in canada like, i think everybody every country every county every company that has to do with this healthcare is really 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 looking for care that'll be able to do this job and that's where you come in as an international student regardless whether you have an experience or not trust me they are looking for you as long as you have like some background knowledge and you're willing to learn your eager and then you are giving your best shot trust me you would actually really you know earn great money in healthcare i know a couple of people that are working in this healthcare industry even myself i'm working in the healthcare industry but i'm not working as a carer i'm working as a shed lab which is also one of the points i'll be talking about soon um but like i know a couple of people that are working as carers or you could call them healthcare assistants or home support workers they are doing extremely well when it comes to like financially because of the job i know of healthcare companies that you could earn up to like 14 euro 15 euro on a weekday per hour and during the weekends even like with hospitals you could be earning 30 euro per hour that's wild 30 euro per hour on the weekends that's wild I like even on a weekday earning 14 15 like some people's nine to five are not even up to that but you could get that in healthcare really you just have to research and find the right jobs the right companies 
not just about money but what you're able to definitely fit in so yes healthcare assistance is another role that i would highly recommend students to go into if they're definitely looking to earn the big bucks and then my third point would be teaching assistance this role in as much as it's there is actually quite limited it's not easy to actually get from what i have heard and what i have researched uh, but what you can do to kind of like you know be able to get this role is maybe keep it in mind maybe always be on the lookout look out for linkedin and um, talk to your colleges maybe your lecturers your colleagues as well you never can know just be on the lookout really and if you actually are lucky enough to get a teaching assistant role trust me um even as part-time as a student those roles are well paying and it gives you this great edge most times you're either being retained to work with like a lecturer it's just a great role really to be honest um but it's quite difficult it's not everywhere like you can't just easily find these roles like that and um, so you have to be on the lookout like you have to definitely be on the lookout you have to be able to ask the right questions and more importantly ask the right people but if you definitely to get a teaching assistant role then that's jackpot that for you and then my fourth high paying job as an international student here in ireland would be it anything it related see anything that has to do with it these days is just that's where i think that's where the money resides i think it health those 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 fields it's kind of like you know where the money resides so anything it related right um it's a jackpot for you maybe working entry level roles or maybe as a tech it technician or maybe it support role or something if you are able to get those roles even as, as a student part-time in companies those roles actually do okay well i'm hearing of people earning like 13 euro 14 euro 15 euro um, per hour even as a student and definitely you should be on the lookout for these jobs linkedin indeed um talking to recruiters agencies are your best shots in getting all of those roles to be very honest and then the fifth high paying job that i have would be scheduling yes um and i know this because i'm working as a shed and i know that there are a couple of people that are part-time um working with us even as students um so yes yeah, shedling i know that it's not one of those roles that it's like rampant like a lot of people do part-time as students or these roles are there you just have to do the research these roles are available and for someone working in a healthcare organization and as a shed I have a good number of people, a few people that are students and doing the same job and any like 15 euro per hour, 14 euro per hour and whatnot. Um, so yeah, definitely shedding is also one of those jobs that are also high paying here in Ireland. And then my sixth point, I know most people will probably not agree with me on this point, but agree to disagree please, warehouse. I know. I. I, I you're probably already saying no 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 and probably disagreeing i don't know maybe it's the warehouse that you're working in that's probably not paying as much uh but i know that there are a good number of warehouses i'm trying really hard not to call company names um yeah so there are a good number of warehouses right that a few of them actually that i know that people are doing and are really earning about 14 euro per hour 15 euro per hour and when i say 14 15 i need you to understand that the minimum wage here in ireland is actually 10 euro 20 per hour so anything above that is quite like you know a good deal for you to be very fair i know most people will not agree with this point or this role but yeah according to my research i'm speaking to a good number of people warehouse actually does pay well a few of them and then my last point would be researcher i know i mentioned teaching assistant and it will probably link to the same thing as being a researcher but not necessarily right not necessarily um but yeah a role in research department is actually quite a very good role for you to actually go into part-time as a student and the money is also there it's also like a very high paying job as well people end up to 14 euro per hour people end up to 16 euro per hour people end up to 17 euro per hour really i have seen a couple of people that are into that field and have done that while they were students and this is what they have earned and that's what i'm telling you uh, so yeah research is also it's not it's not an easy one to get and it's not rampant as well but if you definitely do get research roles that's a jackpot for you as a part-time you know worker because you're a student 
right i didn't okay. think of this and i was not sure about this when i was actually researching but i'm just going to put this one out there customer service related roles could actually be quite a good option right um not necessarily all of the customer related role because i have once worked as a customer service before and what i was earning was like minimum wage right um so i won't say all of the customer related roles but then there are certain customer related roles that will take you part time maybe in the bank maybe in a healthcare organization maybe in the hospital maybe in the company maybe in a school and you could get paid at least like 13 14 and then that's decent enough um yeah so that would be like the last role that i have in mind to share with you guys about high paying jobs here in ireland for international students if you have any other role that i didn't mention please do leave it down in the comment section people would definitely be reading so that you know they can learn a thing or two if you have any questions concerning any of these roles that i have just mentioned please also leave it down in the comment section if you're going to be asking me about companies to mention i don't want to really mention anybody's company to be very honest but if you do your research you will definitely definitely find them like it's not hidden really and yes i think that's pretty much it if you learned anything or two please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and also hit the notification bell beside the subscribe button down there my name is ria and i'll see you guys in my next video bye for now. Bye. Ciao, ciao. <laughs>